Let's look at this example. We're given a line that goes to the points 1, negative 2, and 3, 3, and asked to find the slope. Okay, what's the slope here? Uh, first, let's do it graphically. Okay, so let's look at the graph and see if we can pull this off. All right, so to get from this first point to the second point, uh, well, first, before that, let's even observe that it goes up and to the right, and remember, up and to the right has a positive slope. So we already know it's going to be positive. All right, and here we go. Let's just trace out the path to get from this first point to the second point. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That was 5, so we went 5 up. And, usually, and well, if we go in the up direction, that's going to be the positive direction. Down would be the negative direction. And then we go two to the right. One, two. Okay, over two. And horizontally, the right is the positive direction. The left is the negative direction. And there we have it. There's the slope. Okay. Now let's do it analytically. Analytically means we means that we use an equation. Remember our equation for slope? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, it doesn't tell us which point is x1, y1, and which point is x2, y2. Turns out it doesn't matter. Let's arbitrarily pick this one down here to be x1, y1, right? And we'll pick this one up here to be x2, y2. All right. Plugging in. And again, you want to have this equation memorized. Here we go. y2 minus y1. 3 minus a minus 2. Okay, so you need to include the negatives with these. There's the, the rise part. Now for the run, 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 1. Okay, 3 minus a minus 2 is 3 plus 2, which is 5 over 3 minus 1 is 2. There we go. Same thing, which we would expect. It would be weird if we got something different. Um, but hey, let's check this out. Say we chose our points differently. Okay, so let's take another look at this. Say instead we chose this one to be x1, y1, and then down here we chose this one to be x2, y2. Okay, well, let's see what happens. I'll do this in red. Okay, m, okay, so it would be y2 minus y1, so negative 2 minus 3, divided by x2 minus x1, 1 minus 3. All right, well, negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5, divided by 1 minus 3, negative 2. Oh, look at that, 5 halves again. Okay, so it doesn't matter which point you choose to be x1, y1, and x2, y2, you'll still get the same slope.